Hi there, welcome back. This is Garrett with DIY PBX. You're about to watch video 13. Here's Kent with how to set up time conditions and time groups. Kent from DIYPBX.com. I want to talk to you about time conditions and time groups. So let's say that you have a set working uh, set of hours, I guess, that you work. Maybe it's 8 to 5, 9 to 5, if you get those nice banker's hours, whatever it is that you work, and you only want calls delivered to a certain destination during that time. Or maybe you have a holiday, and uh, let's say that uh, you want the 4th of July off or something like that, and so you want all calls on that day to go to voicemail or something. You use time groups and time conditions to get that type of functionality. So the first thing you have to do is create a time group that matches what it is that you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to call mine uh, working hours, even though these aren't the hours that I work. And uh, I'm going to have this start at uh, 8 a.m. every day, and we'll have it finish at 5 p.m. every day. And we'll have it do Monday through Friday. And we'll just leave these blank. We want Monday through Friday uh, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we want this to run. So what we would do is we'd submit that time group. And we would then go to our time conditions. We've made the group. Now we have to do it uh, open for business or something for the time condition name. And we use our working hours time group, which is 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. And we say, okay, well, during that time, uh, we want to send it to the IVR we created. And if it doesn't match, well, let's just send them straight to voicemail. So we do that. We apply config. We have one more step that we have to do here, and that's we have to make an inbound route go to it. We've still got our handy-dandy inbound route we created. We're going to send it to the time condition that we created called Open for Business. Now remember, we just told Open for Business, Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, we want you to send the calls to uh, the IVR. The IVR would then flow to the queue, and the queue would flow to extension 100 if you've been following the video series all the way through. Uh, otherwise, it's going to go straight to the voicemail. And that's basically how it works. Now, I will caution you with regard to the time groups and time conditions, sometimes it can get a bit tricky. Uh, you can add more time conditions to this. Uh, it may be you get in here and you realize, well, uh, this is actually going to run from Monday at 8 a.m. until Friday at 5 p.m. See, I got you guys already. If you actually did this and you stopped your video thinking, hey, I was done, you would be in a very rude awakening, realizing that your calls were delivered from 8 a.m. Monday until 5 p.m. Friday. You actually have to be much more literal than that and say, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Monday, it's this condition. Also, from 8 a.m. to... 5 p.m. on Tuesday. This time condition would apply. And then you'd keep on adding until you got <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in there. You'd have to save and apply it. So you can see it can be very, very tricky. And you need to think much more like a programmer when you're inside of this module than you may on any regular given day. Um, for instance, if you tell it to start on the first of the month at 8 a.m., but end on the 30th of the month at 5 p.m., it's going, this time condition is going to run that entire time. Uh, it doesn't think, oh, 8 to 5 on the first and 8 to 5 on the second. It's not how it works. It's very, very literal in how it does that. And you can see the actual conditions that were created. And um, so you may want to look up 
some of these conditions here. Um, and you can kind of see in Google how people interpret them and how they would actually work. But if you understand what I've just done here and what you would have to do to get all the way to Friday, you're way ahead of most of the pack. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.